The Mount Ulla tornado damage is a gap area there for the National Weather Service radar, something that lawmakers right now are working to be able to correct. But the Charlotte region now is one of the largest metropolitan areas in the country that is not covered by a nearby weather radar. The closest one to us is in Greer, South Carolina, between Greenville and Spartanburg, so that's roughly 80 miles away. The push to close the gap, though, comes as the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration starts to replace its NEXRAD system, which is being phased out over the next several years. The North Carolina Congressman Jeff Jackson questioned federal officials last year about the gap. My understanding is for very severe tornadoes, the coverage gap's not really a problem. But for F1, F2, and for flash floods, being able to detect weather below a 6,000 foot level is a major problem for the 3 million people who live in this metropolitan region. Those gaps may still remain, and we're trying to understand how we can better cover areas like Charlotte. Um, they're part of an aging, they're aging part of our critical infrastructure, and we recognize that there's some inherent limitations with our current technology. Well, Jackson has a measure that is active now in Congress that would add a new radar as older technology just phases out over the next decade. Well, let's get right over to Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane. And Tara, you tracked last night's storms and also this widespread damage about what happened also in Mount Ola. That's right. We had that severe thunderstorm warning that was in effect for the Mount Ola area at that time with the storm, that line that was moving in from Iredell County and into that western part of Rowan County with the wording that a tornado could quickly spin up. And sure enough, that is what happened here. We had that, as we've been saying here from Shakira Speaks' uh, story there. An EF1 tornado took that path about 1.3 miles long, only lasted about two minutes, 752 to 754, but long enough to do all of that damage. Fortunately, Again, no reports of anyone that was seriously hurt as that storm pushed on through. We had several strong to severe thunderstorms across the region.